I'm new to the fountain pen world. When reading comments on nibs, people talk about smoothness and feedback. The first I get, and I understand why people want smooth nibs, but what is feedback and why do some want it and others don't, okay? I think when you're talking about smoothness and feedback, it's really kind of two sides of the same coin. You're really describing the same thing, just in different, in different sides of it. Um, so for example, smoothness, you're generally referring to how smooth something is getting. So moving more smooth is the goal. And I think that's natural for fountain pens because fountain pens in general tend to be capable of a smoother writing experience than ballpoints, rollerballs, markers, pencils, all these types of things. Fountain pens, generally speaking, are able to provide you at their smoothest with a smoother writing experience than most other types of writing instruments out there. So, of course, what people are looking for, kind of a holy grail of smoothness, fountain pens are kind of the ultimate. Uh, and so that's something it's talked about a lot in the context of fountain pens. Now, not everybody, that's not everybody's motivation into using fountain pens. There's a lot of other reasons why people could use them. They think they look cool, their status, they like the artistry, they like the, the technology, they, they're fascinated by the designs of certain pens or the brands or whatever. There's a lot of different things that people could be into. They like to the color choices and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of different ways that you can go about it without smoothness being the goal. So some people, they really like the way that their, you know, mechanical pencil feels. You know, some people like to have that, that drag or that what's called feedback. Basically feedback is how much, you know, how much you're feeling the nib drag on the page. So a lot of feedback is the opposite of smoothness. Now it gets a little fuzzy here because some people equate the opposite of smoothness as scratchy and certainly feedback taken to the extreme could be scratchy. That's when you're your nib you know, could have a burr on it or it could be misaligned or something and is actually digging into the paper. That is, generally speaking, not a desirable trait with fountain pens, to say the least. Um, but that would be a very extreme example of feedback because you're very much feeling the pen dragging on the page. Now, no one wants scratchiness, basically. Uh, I don't know anyone who says, I want my nib to rip the paper apart when I'm writing with it. Mm. Not, not so much people's goals, um, but you know, somewhere in between there is, is feedback. And so a lot of times it's because people feel like a really smooth nib is just too slippery and, they, and their handwriting feels sloppy. They feel like they are, can't, don't have as much control when they write. Um, and so they want to have a little bit of grab on the page. You know, maybe, it's a, maybe it depends on writing speed. Maybe it depends on someone's particular handwriting style and how fluid it is versus how much they kind of jar back and forth. There's a lot of different reasons and probably if you ask 10 people, they're gonna have 10 different preferences and explanations as to why they like the particular amount of feedback that they do. Um, but even still, that's, that's where there's a whole spectrum of how smooth people like nibs and don't and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, uh, it's interesting because, you know, there's a surprising amount of, of feeling that you have just in your fingertips. Um, it's way more, your fingertips are way more sensitive than I think most people realize. Uh, and so you, you actually have a very kind of, very kind of sensitive feel of texture um, when you're writing with a pen on paper more so than uh, you probably realize. But it is very difficult to kind of scientifically nail down just how much feedback something has. So, you know, when you're trying to equate a feeling to a, a verbalization, you know, not getting too much into it, but it's basically different parts of your brain that equate uh, uh, your, your feelings. It's like your, your, what is it, your limbic or your, shoot, this is where my science is breaking down, but something like the prefrontal cortex does your language and then the limbic system does um, your feelings and emotions. It's more of a basic kind of feeling. So anyway, I think that's right, but I'm not 100% sure. I've been reading books on this lately, um, not related to writing at all, um, more related to emotions and stuff. But anyway, so like how, how good something feels on the page um, isn't necessarily related to the language that we can use to describe it. So that's why you hear people describe it in all these different words and things is trying to uh, interpret it that way. But ultimately it boils down to how much does somebody like the feeling of just kind of slip sliding all over the page versus very specific feeling and control uh, of the nib on the page. So there you go. Hope that helps. Thank you.